Hello and welcome to Stampscape Stamp Along. Um, this is going to be a quick card and hopefully, um, you know, kind of an interesting, um, I don't know, a little bit of a twist on uh, some of the uh, scenes that we've been doing and that we are going to be doing some reverse impressions and dealing with um, black card stocks for the most part. But let's make it a little bit more interesting and add in a lower portion reflective area right here. So what we have is a piece of black cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half, just a quarter piece piece of uh, cardstock, pre-folded card, four and a quarter by five and a half, silver cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Lakeside Cove here, pines and rocks. A hole punch of a, in this case it'll represent a moon, so and some white pigment ink, and then I'll also be using some stays on. The list of supplies are down in the description section below this video. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to do on this is I'm going to create a little bit of a varied background, okay? So 100% cotton cotton ball right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink this up. Now, if you're using a very, very wet, you know, um, white uh, pigment ink pad, then be careful about the amount that you apply on here. You don't want to kind of slather too much ink down here. I'm going to be using a matte black cardstock. You can use other colors, like a, a navy blue if you have it. That might be interesting. Um, I was going to use um, glossy, but um, you would have to use the brilliance on that. But in this case, if I wanted to, you can use any kind of white pigment ink that you want, you know, here hues or any other brand that you choose, okay? All right, so I'm going to get um, some different uh, little streaks in here. And you want it kind of streaky, okay? I'm, you know, I'm not trying to get this real super even application of ink on here, okay? I just want to create a little bit of variation in the background and, and what it'll represent are some you know, those striations in the sky, you know, some clouds or something like that. So what you do is you just kind of lightly apply this. You get a little blotchy here and there, just kind of go in and expect that. But just keep, don't press down on this, just kind of let the cotton do the work. You're going to be kind of removing some uh, of the marks that you lay down here and here as well. Don't worry about that. That happens. Now, if you want any of these little areas to kind of get a little bit more opaque, then you're just going to have to um, layer over the top of them a little bit more. But just do it, do it slowly. Build it up very gradually. See that? You can barely see, you know, anything that's kind of going on in here, okay? But the pace and that kind of slow kind of process like that, it's the thing that's giving us control over it, okay? It just, it's almost like you have a dial <laughs> and on that dial there's like a thousand spots and you're just clicking, you know, you're, you're increasing the, uh, I don't know, the value of it, you know, and getting lighter and lighter, like one notch at a time, okay? So don't rush it. Try, you know, different strokes. I'm, you know, you can use little circular motions. You can kind of go back and forth like this, speed, speedily, whatever you want, okay? You can dab maybe too. I don't know, the dabbing, I don't know, kind of builds up a little bit. And I don't want that too much, but that's what that looks like. So if I tried to do this another, you know, three times, it would probably come out different every time. Here, see that little bit more? I kind of built that up a little bit more. I'm kind of going like this. It's kind of, I'm putting my nail in this little area and getting a little bit of streak, which might, kind of, you know, kind of add a little bit of added texture in there too. I don't do this very often, you know, I don't, can't remember the last time I've done it. So it's kind of, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't, it's not new, but um, I don't know, a little bit different. Okay, so that is that. All right, quick and easy. Okay, so grab your Lakeside Cove here. We're not gonna stamp out this whole um, stamp, but ink up more than you think you're going to be doing. I'm gonna be doing it from like right here and up, okay? 
Now, you, if you want to, you can use the larger Lakeside Cove. I think the smaller one's going to fit in scale with the ice skater that we'll be using on here, though. But if you have the large one, by you know, no problem. Use the large one. I'm going to be stamping this out in my Brilliance White. And I'll go for center. I mean, you can go three quarters, whatever, rule of thirds if you want to. If you stamp this out a little bit higher than me, a little bit lower than me, no problem, okay? There's going to be a quarter inch leeway either way, okay? So don't stamp that out. Say, oh my God, I stamped it out, you know, it looks like an eighth of an inch short, you know, lower than Kevin did, okay? Like I said, if I did this again, it would be different too. Okay, so to give this a little bit of scale, I'm gonna add in my pines and rocks to flank this image out to the left and right. Okay, now with this one, I'm not going to stamp it, um, you know, 100% of the stamp. I'm stamping about, about two thirds or so. I would say roughly about. Okay, overlap that previous impression. I don't know, I didn't overlap too much, but I don't have a big gap in between the two. If you get a gap in between the two, no big deal. There's just a little bit of space in between the trees, you know, it happens in nature, okay? Or if you feel bad, you can fill it in with another tree like this. Just stamp it right in there. No big deal, okay? All right, so on this one, I'll stamp it again. Overlapping the Lakeside Co. just a touch. And going about two-thirds of the way into the design. I don't know if you can see it right there. That's where I stamped it out right there. But again, if I stamped a little bit higher or lower, it's not going to matter. It just looks like this right here, okay? I like doing these reverse impressions once in a while. Okay, so let me show you what this is going to look like in the mirror format. Look at that right there. Isn't that cool? You can even see that little streak up there and those variations down in the water now. Okay, now, so what we're going to have is this little ice skater right around in here, okay? So I need to kind of get my bearings and figure out... Um, where this ice skater is going to go. But what I want with this ice skater, let me get this. Uh, I need to figure out where this moon is going to go. Because if I stand this moon a little bit higher, like say about right here, I'm gonna put it a little bit, well, I guess, I don't know, I can put it center too. But where this is going to be viewed the most, you know, in terms of the reflection. I want this ice skater to be right in that moon like that. Okay, so you see what we're kind of going after like that? Isn't that cool? So yeah. So, I, you know, I'll put that, it almost looks like a light bulb in that, uh, in that reflection down there. But let's, let's handle this, um, piece first, okay? Um, now this one right here, let's go with our larger pines and rock stamp. Let me get that. Okay, so we have our pines and rocks. Now we're gonna go with the stays on for this. Don't try stamping like a dye base tank down here, like a memento or something like that. It's not, not going to stick and dry to this. You, you really need like a stays on um, to adhere to, you know, silver foil. This is not a vinyl, printable vinyl, you know. Um, paper, or sticker paper, okay? All right. Stamping uh, on tops of foils, it feels a little bit differently because it's, it's real slippery and the ink isn't getting absorbed into the paper, so if you kind of stamp out for the first time on a piece of foil and you, you know, your image slides and you smear it, um, if you're using stays on, just take some, you know, stays on cleaner and clean it off or something like that. It'll come off, um, but kind of go into it, you know, expecting that type of thing. You'll you'll get the feel of um, stamping on it. Now, I, I, I didn't slip on this one, but occasionally I do. 
I'll stamp it out and it's like, oh my god, I moved, you know, a sixteenth of an inch or something like that. You know, because the ink, you know, the paper is kind of slippery. And like I said, the ink isn't getting absorbed into the foil. It's just really sitting on the surface, okay? So, you know, don't don't worry about it. It's not hard. You just, you know, if you do it the first time and it happens, you know, that was your first time doing it, you know, don't get discouraged. And if you want to, you just take a practice piece and, you know, practice on it and fee get the feel of it, okay? Now, as I'm doing this, I'm not noticing anything. Um, if your foil is kind of bowed, you know, like um, foils can be real thick card stocks, you know, kind of flatten it out before it too. So it's, when you're stamping it out, you're not taking a paper and then flattening it out like that where, you know, um, the paper can move on you a little bit or the image can move on you. Okay, but easy enough stuff, okay? Large stamps, make sure you get pressure overall, okay? And if it doesn't stamp out somewhere, just take another tree, stamp it out right down there or something like that, okay? Now it stays and dries pretty fast, so we're not gonna have to wait for this to dry too long, if at all, okay? So right now, what we have is this right here. Isn't that cool? It's real kind of three-dimensional looking, all right? Now, one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to add in, you know, this these videos right here, very fast and easy. I'm going to add in a couple little extra touches to this type of thing. Um, I have these little tiny rock stamps. I like a little bit of extra texture. If these, there's some trees here, we're saying that this area right here is the shoreline. So oftentimes, you know, in the, the near shore or... You know, in the water, you can see some rocks sticking out of the water. So this is um, a stamp called um, Tiny Rocks Small, because <laughs> there's a Tiny Rocks and then there's a, t a smaller one, which is this one, Tiny Rocks Small. So you got those little rocks down there, okay? And let's see what it'll look like that. See those little extra things like that kind of add a nice little um, textural touch down there. Okay, and then, let's see. Where did my little, okay, my little. Ice skater. I've been looking for it. I just haven't gotten around to doing this ice skater yet. And I really want wanted to do them in kind of a night type of uh nighttime type of setting so um i don't know i i just envision that when uh when working on this design i don't think people go out and do like night skating but uh, there's something kind of romantic and kind of mysterious about you know someone going skating in the moonlight okay so Right up here, one of the things that I'm going to do too, just for some added textural difference, um, is to add some snowfall. Now you can take your, like a white gel pen and tap it down here like that, okay? Um, your white paint pen and add your stars up here. You can have like a North Star if you want to. I don't know if I'd do that with the, the moon. And I know, you know, we're not getting all technical here or something like that, but... Um, if we wanted to add in this, um, this kind of snowfall in the moonlight, um, you know, why not? And you say, well, hey, there's not enough clouds. Hey, in this scene, I'm just going for the coolest looking visual that I can. And I want snowfall. You can see if you like it or not, and if you want to add it or not. Okay, so I'm using the my Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White, and I'm putting it just in a little bit of the tip right there. I don't, you know, I don't fill up my whole toothbrush with this. And then, not only that, I just kind of, you know, get rid of a lot of this in here. Okay, Dr. Martin's usually have to add in a little bit of water every time you use it because it dries out very fast. You know, even with a lid on there, nice and tight. But that's what it's kind of designed to do, be so it'll dry very quickly on your card too. 
I'm splatter painting from about five inches away, I don't know, six, and I'm just releasing a couple bristles at this at a time, okay, I'm not doing like a bunch, okay, it's just I'm barely moving my thumb. And yeah, it's just a little, a little splatter here and there. Um, I splat, my biggest problem is I splatter too much. And it's because it's just such a fun process, you know. So, I splatter too much, more than probably what I should most of the time. But hey, I have fun doing it. It might look a little bit better if I do a little bit less, but hey, you know, it's about the fun too. You know, it's about uh, the process, so why not? Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. Okay, now I'm just going to use my hole punch right here. It's a one inch hole punch and I'm just going to use it like right up in here and we're just kind of getting my bearings on you know where I'll stamp out that ice skater if you put this a little bit lower you know then you'll stamp the ice skater a little bit higher I think about right there okay now I don't know you can use whatever you want um, in terms of uh, your glue I'm just going to keep this one pretty simple and you know, I got a bunch of cotton all over my uh, my tape roller here but let's go with this right here all right I didn't get it all out to the side oops I have a little bit of pink on there for something <laughs> a couple little dots on there all right hey I, i'm gonna get a new one it's not that hard uh you know for me to punch out a new one i don't know it was just that was just my remnant from making my own little stencil um at some point in time okay so we have a good moon right here I just have a one inch, you know, hole punch. And you can also take this and put this over here and add your pigment ink on like that. But I, I don't know, I just think this is going to be a nice bright moon. And uh, why not? It'll be a nice little kind of focal point. Go about like that. Okay, and let's see if I can get this right. Okay, so I'm, this is looking at the card at about a 45 degree angle, the best viewing angle for this. And I'm going to put my finger right here. Okay, I don't want to miss this now. Okay, so my finger is right here. Let's see. I'm going to put a little dent there <laughs> where I can see my uh, my targeted area for my ice skater and they will go roughly about right there. Let me get out my stays on ink. Okay. And I hope I get them right okay roughly uh the thing about this everything's dark so that moon is really like a spotlight on my little figure nice light even pressure okay with this little figure here same thing with your um with your tiny rocks down there okay all right so look like that Let's see what this looks like right here. Okay. Let's see, there are little ice skaters ice skating in the moonlight like that. Someone opens this up and see that moon kind of almost move. It's almost like rising on the surface right there, which is kind of fun. Okay, now let's add in some little final touches on this. I have my white paint pen like this. And we have our moon right here, okay? 
Now on these trees, let's highlight um, some of our branches, okay? Now this is a black piece of paper, and these impressions of white aren't very white. They're like, I don't know, you know, that white pigment ink, white pigment ink is not opaque, so you get a lot of that paper showing through. So what I'm getting at right here is, you know, the, this white it, uh, acrylic paint pen is really going to stand out against that background, the impressions and paper, okay? So I'm not going to add too much, but okay. So the trees on the right side of the card are getting left side illuminated for the most part, okay? You know, a couple dots. The trees underneath, maybe they are being top side illuminated. You get the idea. Trees on the left side will get right side illumination. So what you're doing here is we are reiterating our lighting scheme. You know, we have a moon center, you know, we have center lighting within this piece. You can put some highlights on top of your rocks. It's a reverse Im image, but you know, so the tops of the rocks are dark in this case, but you can kind of reintroduce that idea of lighting into them. You know, that they have, if you stamp them out in black, you know, on top of white cardstock. All right, so you have something like that. You know, I don't know, maybe I overdid it, maybe not, I don't know. But like I said, doing that, any, I don't know, adding little dots into things are kind of fun. So have fun. If it ends up looking like, you know, Christmas lights on a tree, no big deal. <laughs> okay, now you see these trees down here. Let's do the same thing, and that will bring those trees out from the distance. That really looks dimensional in there, doesn't it? Okay, so right in here, I'm going to add in a few little highlights. And the, in this case, the um, acrylic paint pen really sticks to the silver foil, no problem, too. The, the silver foil really sticks, to, I mean, uh, the acrylic pens stick to just about anything. Even a very non-porous, smooth silver cardstock. All right, don't go overboard with this one. Add a few and take a look and see what it looks like. I, you know, I'm real familiar with uh, how these end up looking, so I don't have to do that too much. Now, let's see, on this skater, I'm gonna have him leaving a little bit of tracks in here. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go from his skate and kind of do a little wisp, if I can. See that right there? I don't know. If you don't like it, you can always kind of, you know, wipe it right off. It'll, it'll come off. Yeah, see, that looks like that. I don't know, maybe that looks like he's, like, taking off like a rocket. <laughs> Let me wipe that off a little bit. Maybe my, I, I think it looks pretty cool, but it, may, it might be a little bit too much. So let me see. Let me let me just let me just remove a little bit of it. Well, you know, it's not coming off like completely clean. Okay, but that I think that looks pretty good right there. See, I removed you know a little bit of it, and I think that will that might look kind of cool. It kind of grounds them a little bit too. It'd be kind of be cool if I add a shadow down there, but uh, I don't think we want to do that. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. We can do some kind of like word stamp in here too, like um, winter or something like that, or moonlight, you know, something to do with the moon. And that would be kind of interesting. You have a lot of space up here too, um, if you want to add in a quote. I'll take a look and see if I have a quote stamp that might be kind of interesting in here. And if I have one, I'll add one in maybe. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, I think I have a good one. Peace on Earth. And it's done very scripty. Uh, if, you, if you can see that. Or a little bit scripty, not, not overly scripty. But I thought it goes kind of in the spirit of ice skating and the natural flow of things, you know. You kind of want to kind of match... Um, 
or I don't know, complement your imagery, you know, as much as possible. I'm not all the time. I guess sometimes it could be contrasting against uh, your pieces, but in this case, I think um, kind of harmonizing with the scene in terms of the spirit of what's being done in the, the the piece. And I see, you know, ice skating is something like, you know, incredibly graceful. And uh, I thought I'd go with the, something like this in terms of the lettering style. And I'm going to stamp this one. You can stamp it in the water and I think that would be cool. I always like the look of that. I think it looks like it's floating on the water, but I, I think I'm just going to stamp this one um, in the sky up here. And it's stamped high enough, you know, within the piece that it's not really going to, you're not going to have this upside down text um, reflecting in the water. So just something like that, you know, peace on earth. You can even put a couple little crystals up here if you want to and embellish it um, a little bit even more. But I'm just going to keep this pretty simple here and just leave it at that. Okay, I need to be careful that I don't smudge that. I was doing a little practice piece right in here. I was doing the streaking after I stamped this out. So I just used it again for this final piece. So don't worry, I'm not taping over my final piece here, okay? We're going to add this down like so. Okay, just kind of keep this card folded like this and just tuck this right down into here like so. Okay. And then what I'll do is the same thing with this. Okay, same thing, fold that like that, butt this up against right up in there, as tight as you can. You might even bring this up a little bit like that, and then just lay this down like so. If you miss it by, you know, a little bit, then just take this and just trim it down there. See, I have a little bit of black right there. It's, I don't know, it's like a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, now this is all, you know, pretty much in stays on down here, so you don't you really have to spray that. You don't really have to spray anything up here either. But there you go, kind of ice skating in the moonlight. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to scratch up a little bit more of this. Oh, this is coming off really nicely. I'm just using my brush right here. I'm just going to, kind of narrowing that little um, ice skating uh, marks a little bit more. You can kind of break up your line a little bit more even. There, I think that's perfect like that. See that like that? Oh, look at that. Going something like that. You can hear one of these days. Um, there, I have this other ice skater kind of doing like a little pirouette or something like that. But you can have like these other, like, you know, you can have like a figure eight, you know, in there or something like that. And when you're with your ice skater. All right, but this is your card like this. You can put whatever you want out here. I'd splatter paint some stars or something like this, or you can have like, you know, it'd be kind of cool is just to do, you know, take um, some French curves and do, do like little lines in this or something like this. Like someone's been practicing ice skating like that. You can have a word stamp right here, you know, uh, thinking of you, I don't know, whatever. And then they open it up like this, you know. And look at that moon kind of rise into position like that. So I don't know. It's a fun little construction. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And uh, to see this little figure kind of ice skating in the moonlight. I do think that this area up here would look really cool in kind of like a like a navy blue or something like that. Or a, a royal blue, you know, as opposed to white, uh, black like that. And that would give it a little bit of a different um, feel, but you certainly get a lot of contrast. Look at that that white punch out. I mean, it really looks like it's glowing in there. And down here in this reflective area, you know, it's a little bit blurred out, but I think it looks pretty cool like that because it looks like it's uh, like a real light um, in that reflection area. Okay, so that's the card. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you stamped along with me, I hope you had a lot of fun, and I hope you like the results of your piece. 
I think these little uh, types of constructions are a lot of fun and, uh, I don't know, provide a lot of um, different types of opportunities and potential. If you have any questions, drop me a note in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, videos, hope you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.